Jim. I just want to say, working with Barbara, it was an honor. Don't. Even if you'd known what she was doing, you couldn't have stopped her. Stubborn like her old man. Brave. You know, you see a lot in this job, a lot of pain, a lot of suffering. But I'll never forget taking a witness statement from an eight-year-old boy who'd just seen his parents gunned down. You were kind, Jim. I was thinking I may never get a chance to tell you this, to say sorry. You don't need to. We're the same, Bruce. We'd do anything for our family. Come on. On your knees, Crane. Now. So you did it. I must admit I had my doubts that you could make this happen. I'm not asking again. And I'm not talking to you. It is time. Time for what? Jim. I'm sorry. It was the only way. Get me my daughter. Dad! Barbara. Are you all right? Did he hurt you? What are you doing? Call in the transport. We're leaving. Yes, sir. It is time for the people of Gotham to see their savior for who he truly is. A man, just a man, devoid of hope, betrayed by his friends, crippled by fear. Let her go! You both still have a part to play. We had a deal. <laughs> Once I understood your greatest fear, controlling you was simple. You blame yourself for her condition. You need to protect her, but buried deep down is the inevitability that you will one day fail. And that fear makes you mine. Think very carefully about your next move, Commissioner. Her life depends on it. Dad! No! Did you think I wanted him dead? Did you think that would save your daughter? Do you know what happens when a man refuses to be controlled by his fears? He must Face them. No! Take me! Please, it's not her you want! Take me! You don't scare me. Shh. It's okay to be afraid. Are you hurt? I thought Dad killed you. He knew what he was doing. There! Where are they taking him?
going to kill him, isn't he? Not while he can use him to get to me. Chivalrous. Remember the time you carried me like that? I don't, because I was dead. I'll get you set up at the precinct. We'll find your father. He gassed you, Bruce. You don't need to worry about us or feel responsible. We're fighting with you, not for you, okay? It's good to have you back. Cash, I found Barbara. I'm bringing her to the lockup. She's alive. Thank God. What about Gordon? He was captured by Scarecrow. You've got to be kidding me. We'll get him back, Cash. Listen, we got the specs on the bat's transport. Toast. That intel's all. He's doing things in that car we weren't briefed on. There's a lot of things we weren't briefed on. Deal with it. Look, if he's smart, he'll stay away. If not, we'll fry his ass. If we catch the bat, no reason we can't have a little fun before we hand him over. Where's Tim? Is he okay? I left him at the movie studios. He's fine. Barbara, it's great to see you. Hello, Aaron. It's been a while. Barbara's gonna be helping out here. Whatever you say. She work for you now? Hell, what am I saying? We all do, right? Okay, let's see. First, establish comms with the clock tower computer. They really should upgrade these machines. Okay, we're in. Damn it. Scarecrow's men are already there. They're trying to take out the server room. Copy the data off the mainframe. I can't. The militia are locking down our access. We've lost the connection. We need that data. It's the only way to find my dad. I'll handle it. You can't go there. They'll be expecting you. I'm counting on it. All these years later, and I've still got a soft spot for little Barbara Gordon. Fortunately, mine's not right between the vertebrae. We should be out there helping. The data is all encrypted, Batman, but they can still do a lot of damage. Try not to trash the place when you're taking them down, okay? Without those servers, I'm blind. You made it. When I was airlifted off my ship, I expected to be rescued, not cuffed and thrown in jail. You're even more deluded than I thought, Stag. You would know, Batman. You would know. Sooner or later, this deluded maniac is going to have to accept that money doesn't give him the right to do whatever he wants. Isn't he, Stag? Without people like me, Gotham, this country, it would grind to a halt. Hypocrites! Every last one of you!
Tell me it's not true, Batman. Ivy, she, she's not dead, is she? I never got to tell her how I felt. I can't speak, Batman. It's still too painful. Ryder said he had a breakthrough in his case. Looked pretty pleased with himself. I'm more of a Vale fan myself. She's got more integrity. I know why you like Vale, and I'm pretty sure it's not for her integrity. Yeah, well, who's got a picture of Jack Ryder stuck to the inside of their locker? Not me. One energy cell. Property of Stag Enterprises. <sighs> You'd think Stag would have enough money not to strike deals with scum like Scarecrow. Well, not anymore. This won't be the only thing we confiscate from Stag Enterprises after tonight. One tactical visor, worn by Gotham's newest mystery man, the Arkham Knight. I think Batman knows more about this guy than he's letting on, but I'll ask him about it some other time. Don't worry, Batman. Barbara's safe here. The clock tower is all yours. You'll find Scarecrow and get the Commissioner, Batman. I'm sure of it. I'd lay money on Scarecrow assuming control of the militia now the night's gone. So the message from Gordon was a fake? He was being blackmailed? Scarecrow had Barbara. Truth be told, it was a good thing you did go. You saved her life. trying to figure out exactly what happened. It's good to see another friendly face. Hell, there ain't too many left in this town. So the Arkham Knight's really gone this time? I'll believe that when I see it. I think some people around here are forgetting what Ivy was really like. You know if she was still alive, you'd be fighting her right now. There's a militia checkpoint guarding Perdition Bridge. It's imperative you maintain access between the islands. Give them no quarter, sir. A big piece of the puzzle just fell into place. Lady of Gotham. That's where it's going down. I couldn't wait for you, Batman. Sorry. This one's too important to miss. Jack Ryder's been investigating something dangerous. It drew him to the Lady of Gotham. I should track him down. This won't end with a Pulitzer. Knight was weak. He failed. We won't! Go give him hell, Batman. When you carried her in, I was so relieved. And then it hit me. The Commissioner wasn't with you. Scarecrow's got him, hasn't he? 
Just when you think it's getting better, something else gives. But if Crane thinks we're gonna give up, huh, he's wrong. before he gets out. It, sorry, Batman. We didn't touch anything. Uh, I couldn't resist the photo op. My kids would disown me if they found out I didn't get any pictures. Oh, without that toxin, Crane's got nothing. You'll take him down, Batman. I know you will. He talked me into taking the picture, Batman. I said to him it's inappropriate, but he wouldn't listen. Barbara's safe here. Scarecrow's not getting near this place. Sacred ground, heathen. You do not belong here. But God has sent you so that I may bathe in your blood, too. My children, the devil comes clad in black. Slay him where he stands. Quickly, the time of sacrifice draws near. <clears throat> Faith, Batman, I do not. I know the truth. Now you will see the blade slice his throat and watch me fade in immortality. Don't do this, please! Silence, child. You're cr I've faced death more times than you can possibly imagine. I'll still be here when you're dead and gone, Batman. Gotham will be mine. Spare me this sermon. What took you? I'm kidding. Looks like I got my story. This is it, Batman. This could get me back in the game. My own show. Hey, first guest, how about it? 
the real Batman. Your story! I'm taking you back to GCPD. You're stepping into my church now, Deacon. Look around you, Batman. Look at what you seek to protect. Gotham is fallen. Why are you still fighting? This is over. I say when it's over, Blackfire. Take him down to the cells. Hey, don't look too pleased at the officer. You think this Blackfire is a real priest, Batsy? It's just, <laughs> I owe Gotham Church an apology for that incident with the hydrochloric holy water. <laughs> that was one hell of a baptism. Finds her after all. You think he knew Batman? Find anything useful?
you take pride in what you have reduced them to? The mewling babes your assault has exposed. I will do that to you, Dark Knight. I will peel back every layer of the Batman before the night is through. It's safe to reconnect the servers. The control console is on the top floor. Oracle, the clock tower's secure. You're reconnected to the mainframe. Great. Okay, it looks like we lost a couple of servers. I should be back online by the time you're back. Good work. It appears your attack has alerted the militia's new commander following the Arkham Knight's disappearance. He's a rather belligerent sort, broadcasting a demand to speak with you via open channel. Then give him what he wants. Very good, sir. It's good to see you again, Batman. It's been a while. Slade. Codename's Deathstroke, and I'm on the job now. As I recall, you once said that I didn't worry you, but our mutual friend, the Arkham Knight, he says different. He sought me out, said I was the toughest bastard you ever went toe-to-toe -to -toe with. The night's gone, Slade. You're a merc without a job. Not exactly. I took payment in advance on this one, and that makes me professionally obliged to finish this. October 15th. Still no sign of the preacher. No records, nothing. Something tells me he won't stay hidden for long. For the Lord 
hath designed the most cruel and dark place. Yes, he has. It's where we put the heathen, the guilty men and women in his pavilion of pain, where lakes of fire burn and hot coals fall as hailstones from a black sky. You see, Gotham's days are numbered. I've seen it. He's done shown it to me. He showed me the fire. He's shown me the bodies writhing in flame. Because that's what's waiting for you. You who don't accept me into your heart. I am the messenger of truth. For the Lord hath anointed me with his sacred oil. He hath separated me above all others. And promised me and my children their rightful place in the new kingdom. Yeah. That's right. You will be made princes of all the earth. Amen. <laughs> Blackfire's sermons are getting worse. He's not waiting for Armageddon. He's bringing it. And I'm going to be right there when he does. Tape 11, October 19th. Going back over some old interviews I did on Gotham's homeless. Numbers were dropping. No one knew why. I think there might have been a link to Blackfire. My name's Terry Noonan. I worked the sewers best part of 20 years. You name it, I've seen it. Walls of fat so thick they'd swallow you up. Rats as big as dogs. Enough teeth and hair to give you nightmares. It's a different world down there. I understand you've got a theory, Mr. Noonan. Terry, please. Some people like to think the homeless are disappearing because Gotham's pulling them out of the gutter. But you think different? I've heard things. Strange things. Voices. Chanting. Chanting? Like church. It's been like this for months. I hear it more often, and it's getting louder. Have you ever tried to find it? Hey, I ain't stupid. Besides, none of my business. If you were smart, you'd think the same. Noonan went missing not long after this. Cops found his body stuffed in one of those giant fat deposits. They said it was an accident. I figure he found something he wasn't supposed to. What the hell are you up to, Blackfire? Tape 23, October 26th. I was searching the archives and this little gem cropped up. Cops arrest a vagrant who's had a run-in with Blackfire. Guess we're starting to get some idea what this whack job's been up to. Please state your name. I haven't got a name. Not anymore. We're his children. His disciples. Who? Deacon Blackfire. The one true messenger. The Redeemer. He can save Gotham. He can save us all. Well, he sounds like a nice guy. You mock me, you fool. You don't know the power you're dealing with. Okay, why don't you tell me? A thousand years he has walked the earth, and a thousand more he will reign. You're smiling. You think I'm crazy? Hey, you're free to believe whatever you want. I doubted him too once, and then I saw it. The blood is his power. He bathes in it. And I'm sure he does. You can see it in their eyes when he draws the blade across their throat. They see it then. The light. Okay, buddy, take it easy. I have to leave. We have work to do. The final sacrifice is coming. It will grant him everlasting life. Hey, sit down. Restrain him. Get off me. An army of homeless killers? Human sacrifices? Bathing in blood? I hope they're planning another sacrifice. You can't win the awards without a little human tragedy. Tape 25, October 30th. Got my hands on this forensic report. Human sacrifice. It's real. They're really happening. The deceased M. Hollis, located in the abandoned premises, front-facing room to Hammond Close. Male, 33 years, approximately 6 feet, 210 pounds, brown hair. Found lying face up on a table central to the room. Contusions on the wrist and ankles, indicating the victim was restrained with a thick cord or rope. The neck has been cut, deep incision severing the esophagus and main arteries. The body appears to have been drained of blood. Victim is naked. Clothes have been burned as well as personal effects. No sign of murder weapon. Symbols have been drawn onto the walls in victim's blood. Photograph logged. C-1 
Scene secured by Detective Russo at 2100 hours. Something big's happening. Blackfire's here, I know it. He wants that final sacrifice, but where? I need that last piece of the puzzle, then bam, son of a bitch is mine. A big piece of the puzzle just fell into place. Lady of Gotham, that's where it's going down. I couldn't wait for you, Batman, sorry. This one's too important to miss. Guess you're wondering what the Lady of Gotham connection is. Turns out there was a black fire tied up with the Miyagani people. His name crops up in tribal stories. Seems like they shot him with arrows, shot him in a cave. You want to know where that cave is supposed to be? You got it. Directly beneath the Lady of Gotham. Looks like the irony didn't escape our preacher. Cash ran this guy's prince. Turns out he's got a past. Tax evasion, fraud. One file dates back to the 20s. Cash thinks it's got to be a mistake. Part of me wishes Blackfire was telling the truth. I guess we all want to believe, huh? Too bad he's just another con man. There's nowhere left for you to run! I need to stay within range of the remote control.